In this lecture, we will cover iteration planning. What is iteration planning? After release planning is done, iteration planning for the first iteration starts. Iteration planning looks ahead to the end of a single iteration and is concerned with the iteration backlog. In simple terms, here we make planning for short duration compared to release planning. Now let's see team activities in iteration planning. In iteration planning, the team selects user stories from the prioritized release backlog. As we know, during release planning, user stories are assigned to each iteration. And during iteration planning, we need to prioritize the user story for the upcoming iteration. The second point is, the team elaborates the user stories. Once the user stories are prioritized, the team go through each user story and try to elaborate it for more clarity. The third point is, team performs a risk analysis for the user stories. And the last point is, team estimates the work needed for each user story. That means effort for the user stories are calculated during iteration planning. These are the tasks team do during iteration planning. Selects user stories from the prioritized release backlog. Elaborates the user stories. Performs a risk analysis for the user stories. Estimates the work needed for each user story. Now let's go through some important points. If a user story is too vague and attempts to clarify it have failed, the team can refuse to accept it and use the next user story based on priority. The business representatives must answer the team's questions about each story so the team can understand what they should implement and how to test each story. So these are the activities done by team in iteration planning. Now we are going to cover an important concept, velocity. At the end of each iteration, the team adds up effort estimates associated with user stories that were completed during that iteration. This is called velocity. Once the velocity is known, the team can compute or revise an estimate of how long the project will take to complete, based on the estimates associated with remaining user stories and assuming that velocity over the remaining iterations will remain approximately the same. The number of stories selected is based on established team velocity and the estimated size of the selected user stories. After the contents of the iteration are finalized, the user stories are broken into tasks, which will be carried out by the appropriate team members. So this is how user story is selected based on team velocity and tasks are assigned to the team member. Now we will see what is tester's activity in iteration planning. Since these points are simple, I will just go through it. Testers are involved in iteration planning and especially add value in the following activities. Participating in the detailed risk analysis of user stories. Determining the testability of the user stories. Creating acceptance tests for the user stories. Breaking down user stories into tasks, particularly testing tasks. Estimating testing effort for all testing tasks. Identifying functional and non-functional aspects of the system to be tested. Supporting and participating in test automation at multiple levels of testing. Now from the exam point of view, you need to know what are the tester's tasks in release planning and what are the testers' tasks in iteration planning. In the upcoming video, we will provide an exercise so that you can practice it.